So this box came from Lena. Lena Lee. Lena Lee. Such a sweet, sweet lady. About a year ago, a lovely lady named Lena Lee gave me some beautiful plants. And so now this is an update to see how the plant grew a year later. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. So this one here is the silk variegated PVN. The next one is the variegated Monroe and that one is variegated cubic frost. Most of these plants were only small and tiny when I got them but geez look how they've grown. This is the Compton carousel. It's still small it hasn't grown that much but in fairness to myself this is still alive. <laughs> And it's been growing out here in the frost because we had frost and rain. I still managed to keep it alive. I feel like I should be really beheading this because it's already got a stem long enough. So hopefully I can grow some pups, which is what I'm planning to do. And if it dies, it dies. Compton Carousel has now become quite cheap. It's not as expensive anymore. But I really want to grow more of this plant because I just love the variegation. This is a Chivaria Tinkerbell. So I only have one plant that she gave me. But look how many babies I already got on this one. And I also have another couple of plants somewhere else that I've grown from a leaf and also beheading or a cutting. But this lemon and lime silk variegated is doing really well. Look how big it is. It's now quite a big plant. Look at that and a beautiful. So it's doing all that funky monstros growth as well which is just lovely and I have it in my 50% UV shade cloth area because I'm not game to put it out in the sun yet but I can still see some variegation look at that leaf there so hopefully the more I expose this to the sun even here I can see some variegation and variegation so hopefully if I expose this to the sun they will grow more beautifully this is Echeveria Etna that she gave me. I do love my bumps, but the problem is they don't like our weather here. So I've struggled with this plant. I brought it in during the coldest part of winter, and I've just started taking it out. I actually took it out the minute. We had forecast of no more frost, but it's still not liking it. It's just slowly waking up. But our weather is sort of hot and cold still. So I don't think this is going to grow until summertime, which is another month's time. So maybe in December it will start to wake up and grow faster. Hopefully, if we don't get some Arctic cool weather coming in. This is the whirlwind that came with no name. And it has some funky center going on, but now it's growing more. Look at that, crested. So that center whirly twirly, <laughs> whatever it was doing before, now it looks like it's straightening out and cresting up. Look at that, not beautiful, gorgeous, like gorgeous color, beautiful plant. Look at that, it's so yummy. And I still don't know the idea of this plant, but I suspect that this is possibly a gilva. So I would have a crested gilva, although I have, speaking of Gilva, she did give me a Crested Gilva. This is a Crested Gilva that she's given me and look at this one here. Isn't this gorgeous? Let's do a close-up. So, hang on, wait a minute. I'll just pull out the weeds. There you go, to show you. It's growing outside and it's been rained on and look, the soil is really, really wet. And they don't seem to mind. But of all the Crested ones, that I had because it's quite a big cluster she gave me and I split it up and then now this one here isn't this amazing isn't that gorgeous look let's take a closer look what a beautiful plant and on the opposite side of that look at it isn't that gorgeous <laughs> beautiful 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 plant it's like a razorback and I can't wait to see all the variegations when they show up it'll be so gorgeous 
she also gave me a best baits and this is now the best baits so it's gone bigger but it had suffered some issues being grown inside and now slowly well when i say issues it got attacked by fungus gnats but i managed to still save it the center part of it the lighter coloring showing there that's actually new growth from being grown out here so i'm just hoping that if we do get some warm weather then it will color up much better or grow even faster this is also one of the plants she gave me this is a chivria diamond state and the state of it is just waking up so you can see the variegation in the center of the plant that is still so beautiful and again this is all dependent on the weather whether we get good weather or not i don't know <laughs> but at least it's good to see that this plant is still alive of all the plants that she gave me or she's given me only one died i think it's the monocerotis that did not make it and a couple of the leaves uh, leaf propagation that she also gave me but the rest of them are all honky dory or happily growing and these three are the rest of the plants that she gave me so this is a chivria raffine it was a more compact form before but i grew it under the shade or in a protected area because i don't really want to kill it so now it has grown green and leggy but look in the center there's babies coming out or flowering so hopefully it's a baby but if it does flower let's just hope that it will produce either some leaves on the stem or i can get some seeds from it and then i can have more echeveria raffine which is actually a lawi cross tuxpan hybrid so another beautiful plant but right now it's not looking its best but the important fact is that it's still alive this is echeveria rubidona it was more colorful before but then again now we haven't seen the sun lately that much <laughs> so this has been grown in a protected area as well because i don't want to kill it but it's still alive and nice and healthy we had a bit of dry leaves in the bottom here but apart from that and also weeds growing but otherwise it's healthy so and new growth coming in the center so which is a good sign always and last but not least is the beautiful ionium medusa look how gorgeous she is so it has colored up nicely all those reds look how red that is and the center is starting to come out with more new growth to grow long beautiful red leaves like this ones outside so you can see that they sort of go lighter and then get darker and darker as they mature so anyway guys that's all i hope this is just a short update and if it's not it's just to show you that i haven't killed most of the plant that was given to me so the important thing is they're still alive in my care so anyway thanks so much for watching and hope i'll see you in the next video